Hey folks, my name is Logan. Welcome to Game Engineer Labs. I heard that there's a Nintendo Direct, so let's check it out. There we go. <laughs> Nintendo Direct 2823-2023. Let's see what the first game is on the slate. Oh, is this Pikmin? Oh, my wife's going to be so excited. She loves, loves Pikmin. Pikmin 4. Oh, this is... I always love the soundtrack of, like, Nintendo games. It sounds... Oh, it sounds so good. And I'm excited to see how it plays. Like, I've, I've played a couple of the Pikmin games, and it's just... I just feel like it's a good, easy, relaxing game. Ooh, I might have to turn this down a little bit. It's a little bit loud. Hopefully it's not super loud on the recording. acceptable levels. Oh. <laughs> we have a little puppy friend in Pikmin now. Hey! Oh, we got a friend who can take us in water now. Okay. I mean, maybe that was always there and I just don't remember. But <laughs> bosses. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and you're getting thrown out of a drain. Cool. So I think the big games that we're looking for right now, definitely Zelda. And I wonder if there's gonna be any updates on Metroid. Um, I know that's been in somewhat of development hell for a little while, so I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. But let's, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens and, oh, 721, okay. This new hero is a real gem. Introducing Volume 3 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Expansion Pass DLC. Ah, Xenoblade. I know that there's like a whole bunch of people who are into Xenoblade. I've personally never gotten into it, but... Say hello to Masha. The question for, every win, for like more heroes who's ever watching this. If, if you're a fan of with your heroes, Xenoblade, like... Set your sights on the final stage. How, what is a game you to get into get for this? Like, do I just jump in or is there like a whole bunch of lore that I need to figure out before I like dive into the game? Definitely leave a comment and let me know because I, I kind of want to check it out and see what it's like. Really what you... 3 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 expansion pass for the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game launches on the Nintendo Switch system February oh. 15th. Game Samba de Amigo. Grab your Joy-Con controllers and gently shaming a multitude of genres we'll, uh, just from dance, around the world. Dance Dance Revolution feel. So grab those controllers and those Switch this summer. This is the place to glam it up and express yourself. Okay. Here you'll aim to so it seems like a stylish with this uh, direct, they're luck. starting off on some Tons of the, of are the latest trends. you know, Pikmin was a big one, but I feel like the last like couple of games haven't necessarily style. been like the big, big games. Just or more of like kind of new, new stuff that's coming out. Grow as an influencer. 
It's got a very big Animal Crossing feel right there, <laughs> at least with now it's time uh, whatever the sisters were called. Design. Able sisters, I think, um, Choose from, over from Animal 1, Crossing. Design options. Okay. Well, I guess if you're into you fashion, and other this might be your type of game them. to dig into. So far, nothing's quite Mix hitting with me just yet outside of Pikmin. Fashion Dreamer debuts exclusively on Nintendo Switch this year. I mean, I pretty much rock t-shirts and like jeans all the time, so... I'm probably not the demographic for that game. Worlds. DLC for the roguelite action platformer, Dead Cells. Then Castlevania. Castle's hellish oh, pretty good, like, 2D side-scrolling platformer. Songs from the castle grid in this narrative puzzle adventure set within the Tron universe. Uh. Uncover dangerous truths and retrieve what was lost. So for those of you who don't know, the Tron world. ride in Disney World is launching. So I can't help but think that this has something to do with that. <laughs> Disney wanting to, like, Tron amp it up a little bit. Launches first for console. The time-bending murder mystery Ghost Trick returns in HD. So you're a ghost who basically helps out Two people. connected worlds, one sus... Deco police? <laughs> <laughs> so, another puzzle solver. <laughs> Turn into the cat into a cat in the game. That's interesting. Oh, okay. Seeking the power to rescue her imprisoned mother, she ventures deep into the Avalon forest ruled by fairies. I'm going to that forest. So prequel to Bayonetta. This is definitely a different take than what I remember well. from the Bayonetta games. Let's go. So strategic combat. <laughs> Bayonetta Origins, Cereza and the Lost Demon prowls onto the Nintendo Switch system March 17th. Okay, so relatively soon. I guess if you're into Bayonetta. I mean, I've Nintendo played uh, the first two Bayonetta games, so I didn't play the third one or anything after Next, that. But please take a look at are they doing some DLC or something? Splatoon 3 expansion pass. Okay, so they're gonna be adding on. Introducing the. Oh, so just an add on little area, I guess, to go exploring? Is there like actual extra gameplay the things or levels? Will or? Also perform here during okay, so not too far along if, or too far away if you're um, a Splatoon fan. I don't know, nothing so far seems like really earth shattering at the oh, moment. Oh, what's but, this? Oh. Maybe there's more. Oh, is this gonna like dive into the lore of Splatoon or something? <laughs> If you get a chance, there's actually some game theory videos on Splatoon that are really, really fascinating. Because <laughs> their whole world and like the lore behind it is just really, really strange. Expansion Pass Side Order. Hmm. Wave one, Inkopolis launches this spring. Okay. Wave two, side order will launch in the future. Oh, uh, well. Okay, so they're working on it, but there's no like the definitive Splatoon date. Splatoon three expansion pass. Okay, so many so far, people not have played Splatoon impressed. three since it's launched three in the future. Okay, Splatoon fans, Let's is, see some was, more is that worth your Switch extra headlines. money? You have to let me know in the comments below. Mini Mouse, Mini Mouse, Donald Duck, and Goofy. I wonder if this was planned as well, because if any theme park fans know about uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway in Disneyland actually is, I don't know if they're in previews or if it just opened, but jump, seems a little fitting, especially like since they just did a Tron announcement too. Cranny of the island. Okay, so another like 2D Across platformer. Chasms with boost jump. In their actions. Up to I would say like the art style of this game looks really good. Share a hug for extra help to hand. Definitely geared towards I think Work the younger audiences. To in Disney Illusion Island, swinging onto Nintendo Switch July 28th. Okay, so generic Disney game. On Nintendo e -shop. Oh, Fire Emblem. New emblems are coming to future waves. Okay, another expansion Fire pass. Engage expansion pass DL yeah, this might be a bad thing to admit, but I've never played a Fire Emblem, Emblem game. Modify the terrain to hinder enemy. 
Oh, okay. Thank New story. You for answering our prayers. Who is it that's putting your world in danger? I mean, danger that's got to be exciting. Watch out. Assassin. Wave 2 of the Fire Emblem Engage expansion pass for the Fire Emblem Engage game launches on the Nintendo Switch system later today. Oh, well, there you go. Fire Emblem fans, you can get that today. A world in which deities known as Asper... Uh. Harmony, the fall of reverie. Launches first for consoles on Nintendo that Switch. That I think I'm going to pick up. I'm very interested in that because the story seems pretty fascinating, and I'm sure there's like multiple different in. outcomes depending upon like who you team up with. Octopath Traveler 2 is oh, just Octopath around the Traveler. corner. Okay. I was After not into this game. Nintendo Direct, a demo containing the game's opening hours will be available on Nintendo eShop. And the art style looks cool. Eight new stories await. Collect oodles of objects in this remaster of We Love Katamari. We love it. Roll in a classroom, a zoo, and space? New features include playing as what the young king game. of all cosmos in five new challenges. And taking photos with a selfie camera. <laughs> We love Katamari they Rainbow added a camera mode to this. Comes to Nintendo's Find the powers of the sun and moon to fend off evil in this turn-based RPG. Okay, guys, come on, let's get to the good stuff. Breathtaking world. Oh, this isn't Meet good. I just, from all I, I think they're going through all of the, foes with time like, to maybe starter games or, like, they're trying to build up hype or they're trying to, like, build up uh, suspense. Tunes from the Yasunori Nintendo Switch, I think my, the August tough 29th. part about it is the last couple of games that we've A seen are very much so today like this. Nintendo so, I, I just feel like it's a clone. It out and that's maybe harsh to say, but... <laughs> Air hockey. Each striker skills to dominate each match. For anybody Change out there, the I am a master air a hockey player. Because <laughs> I play hockey in real life, so um, air hockey is definitely my jam when I go to arcades and stuff with friends. Omega Strikers slides auction of the first three Etrian Odyssey games is coming to Nintendo Switch remastered in HD. Many okay, treasures lie deep crawler. within a massive labyrinth. Its paths are intertwined and oh. vicious monsters lurk in the shadows. A blank map is your only guide. At least this one's like first the person. Map as you yeah, one thing I say about like Nintendo, Plus, I always feel like they're really good. Options, and like, a new the, the games have smoother really good art style. Um, the music's always really Entry good. Odyssey, um, I just, launches on I'm Nintendo curious to see Switch. how the gameplay is first. on that. Each I know that like, that's an HD, looks like an HD re-release. Nintendo eShop. Yeah, pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Not my jam, but get your T Advance Wars One Plus Two reboot camp games only a couple of months away. Join Andy, Max, Sammy, and more in two full story releases. campaigns, each one filled with colorful turn-based tactical action. Flex your strategic muscles across a multitude of modes. Design your own maps and share them with friends. Plus, go head to head in local and online play. Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp comes to Nintendo Switch April 21st. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Okay. This is his attack range. Okay, this is a little the concerning. Order in which to me. you restore his powers is up to you. Because they're focusing on, like, oh, like upgrade your abilities to, to go through the game. And it's like, well, every, every game does that. <laughs> Like what is the actual story Up of the to game? Four and players on the same system can Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe launches on the Nintendo Switch system. Yeah, February not really interested in that. <laughs> orders are available now on Nintendo. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just don't think it's like my my speed. We hope you're looking forward to the new. Next, here's some news about Nintendo Switch Online. Please take a look oh. at this. Yeah. Definitely the reliving my childhood there. To Nintendo Switch Online. On Nintendo Switch, you can play these games anytime, anywhere, just like you could back in the day. Game Boy games, yes. Let's introduce the games that will be available at launch. Tetris, arrange the falling Tetraminos and aim for a high score. Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. Reclaim oh the gosh. castle that Wario stole from you. The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening DX. 
Awaken the windfish to escape Covalent Island. Gargoyle's Quest. Save the Ghoul Realm as Firebrand from the Ghosts and Goblins series. That one I don't remember. Game & Watch Gallery 3. Play an assortment of Game & Watch titles. Alone in the Dark. The New Nightmare. Solve a murder mystery on the supernatural Shadow Island. Metroid 2 Return of Samus. Ah. Destroy the Metroids hiding on planet SR388. Yes, a lot of these Game Boy games came out when I was like a Mario little, little kid. Three. Traverse a world that changes between day and night based on your actions. I think it was in elementary school when a lot of these came out. Kirby's Dreamland. Float, inhale, and spit out enemies in Kirby's debut title. And some of these, I was probably a toddler when they came out. <laughs> you can use the Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, or Game Boy Color Screen Filters. Yeah. Up to two players can play compatible games together locally or online. Game Boy Color was my jam back in the More day. More games will be added in the future. And. Oh, Game Boy Advance. Oh, that brings me back. Game Boy Advance games are being added to Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. Oh, that's amazing. Here are the games that you can play at launch. Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Brothers oh, 3. I had that. Play 38 extra levels from the Nintendo e-reader accessory. WarioWare Inc. Mega Micro Games. Experience the origins of the lightning fast <laughs> micro games. I think I had Kuru, that, but Kuru, I don't know Kuru if I played it Guide that much. Guide the spinning stick to the goal without hitting obstacles. Mario Kart Super oh, Circuit. Rates yeah. in the first Mario Kart 100%. game created for a portable system. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Venture through a zany world and fight with equally zany attacks. That I don't remember having, so. The Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. Shrink to ah, that one I didn't have either. And dive into a big adventure. Local and online play is supported for compatible games, and up to four players can play together. Oh, that's cool. Especially like one of the old school Mario Kart games. That's cool. More games will be added to this library oh, as Metroid. well. Metroid. Uh, F Zero. After this presentation, you can play these Game Boy titles with the Nintendo Switch Online membership. Or play both Game Boy and Game Boy Advance titles with the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Nintendo Switch Online and I would love Nintendo to play Switch some of the old Online Pokemon Plus games. Expansion Pack in the future. Let's see a few more headlines. I remember being a kid in elementary school with like the link cable that would go up to the Game Boy and we would trade and battle that way. to pick this up. Metroid Prime Remastered, 100% getting this. The first That's gonna be Metroid so Prime cool. Game, but beware, there's more to this alien planet than meets the eye. So when I was a kid, I didn't have a, a GameCube, so I always had to go to my friends' to houses adventure. to play this game. They'll Any one of my friends who had it. Info and, clues on how to progress. and I'm really looking forward to Depending having it for myself and playing through it in its entirety, like, Without any gaps or anything like that. Creatures attack. The digital version of Metroid Prime Remastered launches on Nintendo eShop later today. The physical oh, version of the game will what? be available in stores February oh, 22nd. Oh shit! <laughs> I need to get that. Put your master detective. I'm playing through another game test. right now. I can't download that at the moment. This is the World Detective Art Beats yeah, and Whispers. I mean, I think it's probably aptitude. Okay. 
I'll wait till I'll, I'll wait to see what other people scenes, say about it and like what reviews say about it. I don't know if I'm gonna actively. These abilities can be shared with Yuma. Download this. This is postcard. Is coming okay. to Nintendo HD Switch re-releases. after a long and peaceful era. War. I mean, it looks good, but I don't I don't know if I know anything about this game. During your travel, while exploring the uh, once don't know anything about it. Island. You'll meet a mysterious Maybe I'm girl. living underneath a rock, but I feel like a lot of these I don't really know much about. A woodcutter, angler. Okay, this seems like Animal Crossing to me. Blacksmith. Okay, maybe a little bit more intense. To develop the island. How will you rebuild? This life is yours to live. After 1,000 years, the restoration is about to begin. I mean, the art style looks so much like Animal Crossing. Professor Layton and the New World of Steam. Wait that was it. <laughs> is racing in. That's cool. Love me some uh, Mario Kart, especially when we have friends over. Birda races onto the Nintendo Switch system this spring. Oh, that's cool. Active Get a couple, Nintendo like, Switch looks like an extra level or two, and then new characters. This DLC at no additional cost. Okay, cool. Minecraft. This I might need to check out. This art style looks really, really cool. I always like games that like look different and feel different. Oh, Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. Uh, baseball. Disney Dreamlight Valley. New Realm update. Yeah, so my wife's been playing that, and like when I was watching her play through it, it it had it looks so glitchy, <laughs> so many frame rate drops. But it seems like with every update, it gets like a little bit better. Thank you for staying with us so far. This will be our last segment. Please take oh. a look. So this has got to be Zelda. Yeah. Please don't delay it. Please don't delay it. Rise, rise, my servants. Ooh. Sweep over Hyrule. Eliminate this kingdom and her allies. Leave no survivors! Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. This is gonna be so good. Looks so baller in this. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Please be soon. Please be soon. Please lend him your power. Oh yeah. May 12, 2023. Oh. That was The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, the latest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. 
<laughs> so stoked. In addition to the bumps. standard version, a collector's edition of the game containing various items will release on launch day. A new amiibo figure of Link from this game will also be available on the same day. I might have to do a 3D printing project around that. We hope you're that. looking forward to Link's latest grand adventure. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Let's do it. Let's do a project around watching. the new Legend of Zelda game. There you have it. That was the Nintendo Direct. Um, super excited for um, Pikmin and Legend of Zelda. I think it's going to be really, really cool. Uh, some of the other games that were in there weren't really interested in. Um, it seems like that there was a lot of like carbon copies, clones of kind of already existing games outside of some of the ones that I mentioned where I thought the art styles were cool and um, it seemed like some of the stories were a little bit different. But definitely going to get ready for uh, Legend of Zelda and I really want to do some sort of um, like 3D printing design project around that. So let's make that happen. I'm going to start planning it and uh, I'm going to definitely be releasing a video around the release of The Legend of Zelda. But if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, let me know your thoughts and feelings if there's any games that you find interesting or that you want to check out. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.